The super yacht previously known as Project Skyfall has now been delivered. Built by Heeson in the Netherlands, the yacht now named Ultra G was ordered by a member of the Elektorov family who used to own that company. Vajit Elektorov gave up his shares in the Heeson company after he was added to the sanctions list after the invasion of Ukraine in 2022. Elektorov ordered another yacht previously called Galactica that once got stuck under a bridge in the Netherlands, bridges is the theme uh, recently, uh, whilst trying to transit to open ocean after uh, before delivery. That yacht was also blocked from delivery because of the sanctions and the rules by the Dutch government to prevent Russian ordered yachts from being delivered regardless of this sanction state uh, designation. That yacht is now named Genesis and was sold under the same provisions, administrated by the Dutch government uh, to be sold only to unsanctioned people who are not Russian. And now Ultra G has been sold in the same way as Genesis last year. Now the vessel was sold in cooperation with the Dutch government, as I said, in the same way that we saw the sale of Project NB1010, which became Moti Yacht Launchpad. The new owner of that yacht is Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. Now what's interesting about the Genesis sale is the brand new yacht sailed straight to Dubai, the safe haven of many Russian super yachts hiding out there away from sanctions. What's also interesting is the yacht, which changed her name from Galactica to Genesis before the sale, kept that name. Now, not every yacht changes name after the sale, but more often than not, they do. Um, also, the yacht headed right to Dubai, where she went into a dry dock facility. Again, unusual for a yacht that was actually laid up in the Netherlands, right next to the company that built her. Now, Genesis is laid up in Dubai Harbour Marina, just like Quantum Blue and Madame Gu and Moti Yacht A, almost as if she's still owned by a sanctioned Russian. Uh, you can see Ultra G off the coast of Guernsey in these photos sent in by one of our subscribers. The yacht is now moored in the north of France in Saint Malo. You see, how the system works is the Dutch government keeps the money from these sales in an escrow account, and they cannot give the money to anyone who is sanctioned or even if they're Russian under the current regulations. However, if that person has effectively sold the yacht to himself through a shell company, then he just has to wait to get his money back, right? He has the yacht and the money is held, you know, until it can be returned. It's a way of sidestepping those, uh, those rules. A few years ago, another sanctioned individual had a number of properties seized and other expensive items in Europe to a value. This is not including the properties. This is just the other items of over 25 million euros. Now what's not known by most, likely even the authorities who were involved in those seizures, is the owner had his people create shell companies and actually bid on those items that have been seized and bought every one of them back and shipped them out of Europe back to his own country. Now, time will tell if these sales for these yachts were legitimate. Thanks very much for watching this video. You've been watching a Super Yacht News clip if you'd like to see the full unedited Super Yacht News video, you can click on the link over here. You can also find our channel links below here. And if you'd like to see more shorter videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel.